Well, here we are. Uh -huh. You and me, face to face. Sure we're alone. Wouldn't want any unpleasant surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. It means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. Come over here. But first, let's do this one. Birds with broken wings, right? Let's do that. Let's go. What you got in stock? This food and drink Dogtown's got to offer, hon. <laughs> I think I already got this one previously, right? done finalizing the plan back on the same page are we not exactly brings back a lot of memories all this one in particular sticks out before NC we worked in op in Colombia Medellin songs not first now, mission. Alex. we have enough to do without digging up ancient history <laughs> what happened in Medellin what was the op there we had our size trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. I think we can spare 60 seconds. Hell, might even learn something about so me that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his doberman. Spending big money on kids' luxury was kind of his M.O. <laughs> so, what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. The problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, Who's a good boy? Then, she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. What did you do? Well, my hands are bound, got a sack on my head, hear a collapsible baton snap into place, flack. I did what anyone do in that sitch. I lied my fucking ass off. Don't sit quite straight to this day, though. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. All right. <clears throat> We've parsed the intel from the shark Somi gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we... Righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. 
was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Stop worrying, Reed. We'll get her out. Save her. I know. And not just her. That goes for you, too. Right. Our objective. To free show me from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue op. Because... Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. A consequence of her service to the NUS and President Mines. I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech whys and how. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, it'll kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. So this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Asaka's soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. All right. Plan. Let me hear it. Answer to me with the Netrunners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close, to Song and the Matrix. Hansen hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hansen access codes, handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hansen's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the Neural Matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now, we just need to take those twins out of the equation. Emmerich and Aurora Cassell. We know anything more beyond what we saw firsthand? Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay's better on the dark side. Yeah, I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. Mm-hmm. Gonna miss that next paycheck, because they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach Hansen. So we kidnap them. How we want to do this? They're driving a rental while in NZ. An exploitable opening. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it. Before they reach Hansen at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Alex will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavior imprints are tuned already. All right. What's your role in this? And you're rolling all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your exfil route. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hansen. Right. Where you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Hansen and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress-up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at the state. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird? We have to rescue her. Myers told you as much as hell. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. How much have you told Myers? What she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who's organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. All right. So, time we talk nabbing the runners? Cover that in a minute. <clears throat>
Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op, does she? Never will, is that right? It's not wrong. So we serve Hanson up on a silver platter, it'll be salutes and handshakes. Shit goes sideways, we're royally fucked. Welcome to the agency. <laughs> you know we better than I do. What he thinks. What's the true aim here? Saving so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. Hmm. And so me? Same story as always. Dares, lands neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. And any for your thoughts, Alex? About all this? Honestly? Still wondering why neither of us went back to DC. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep, saddle you with a Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think... Think we were both waiting for something, like the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those? We find the car easy. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. The stations, how do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network, monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Hack them, and it'll be open season on the runners. So, breach the station, trace the car. Good. What then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Sounds simple enough. Tech worth tens of thousands can help any plan go off like a dream. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. Alrighty. There is a job, V. A journalist, Bree Whitney, has fled into Dogtown. I need you to look after her. She fled? Means I gotta keep her tucked away? No. Bree has a lead. You're to help her complete her investigation. There's a corp on her tail, as she put it. That is all she said. Miss Whitney seems to have some minor trust issues. Right. So where am I meeting this mystery insistent woman? You'll go to her apartment first, on Skyline West. You're to collect an electronic access card. And no, do not say this card, what's it open? I simply don't know. Contact me once this is sorted. You'll learn more details then. Alrighty. Uh, where? Uh, we'll do that first. Let's do this one. B, so, heads up. I can't talk long, but two things quickly. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your relics firmware. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Don't worry. Completely painless. Relic upgraded. How'd you manage it? 
No easy feat, I guess. We can take that advanced. Mm, let's say I've had extra time on my hands. More than I expected. Don't worry. We're getting you out of there. I know. First good news, you said. Is there a second thing? Right. It's super important. It stays between us. It's gotta. Proof of my trust. I'm sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. Okay, need to Delta. But see you soon. Surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. It means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. Come over here. Okay. So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off. While well, I was here in NC on assignment. Huh. Locals come here after sunset. Fire up grills, crack open beers, talk about nothing in particular. I'd swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it, every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn, actually from there. Wouldn't mind hearing about it, Brooklyn. Hmm. Got this memory. It was the night before I raided a Militech data form. I'm sitting out on my fire escape. Just lit a J. Down on the street, I see a party starting. There's playful screams and laughter. Someone's blasting funk from their stoop. I hear Willie, too. Sells the best scoff dogs around. He shit talking one of his chews. And there's bonfire smoke in the air. Safe. Familiar. Were they celebrating something? Yeah. A Thursday. Yeah. No feeling. Got a place you hold close to your heart, too? Not a place. That was always changing. But people, sure. Memories of home. Yearning to go back. Can't rewind the clock, V. By the time you realize you missed something, it's usually too late. <sighs> Suppose we should get back to the here and now. Attack on Myers. You schemed it up with Hansen. I know that. Yeah, Neural Matrix was pricey. But honestly, I... I never thought he'd try to kill her. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run. All before Kirk caught on. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusure mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Mm -hmm. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but... As soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. 
I just know it. <laughs> She's I fucked not... everything up. I know V. But I had no choice. Always got a choice, son. Huh? Always. Did it. Not this time. From Myers, the NUSA, I'm just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the Black Wall. And weapons and tools. They don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. Burden of past mistakes. We both bear it. It ain't easy. Me for the biochip, you for the black wall. You mean to say it's my fault? No, just that when you try to save yourself, it's usually somebody else who pays the price. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Ain't that the brutal fucking truth? You're the only one I can trust with this. Only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? I want to ask, actually, what happened exactly, you know, when you reached past the Black Wall? <laughs> Know the feeling when you try to remember the address of a place you lived half your life, but it just turns up blank. Mean losing your memory? A snowflake lands on my glove. I can calculate its unique fractal structure. But what did my mom's voice sound like? Sometimes I I lose control. Or get the sense I'm surrendering to someone else. But it feels horrible. Felt it too, with the Chimera. Like a living nightmare. Yeah. More and more, I get the sense someone's standing behind me. But there's never anyone there. Don't trust Reed? Guy wants to save your life. Mm-hmm. He saved me once already. Word of a boss shit on Militech crossed his desk. So he knocked on a 19-year-old girl's door with an offer she couldn't refuse. Uh, join his serve or become a Netwatch trophy. That girl died that day. The person in front of you is what was born from that death. Of course, Reed, he died too. Just more recently, seven years ago. The NUS issued his death sentence. Yet he serves the country to this day, clinging to something that's lost all meaning to me. Why not just go home? My home burned down when I was forced to trade warm Brooklyn brick for sterile Washington walls. I have nowhere to go back to. Get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah, with you and myself. I need to get away. From Kurt, then USA, Reed. From everything. Night City's just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved, or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, B. Gotta get out. And to do that, I need you. Cause you... You know how it is. How am I to know this isn't an elaborate con? It'd be nice to have some kind of guarantee. I can't give you one, sorry. But I've shown you my trust. I mean, you're free to sell me out to Reed, right? Or trust me enough to save us both. No guarantee for either of us. Fair deal, I say. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? 
We go through with the mission, grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. And then? You help me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. And that's it. Everything. Yeah, somehow I don't buy it. My shoulders, honestly. Now I have to ask. You're in this because you understand me, or because I promised to save your life? Should be pretty clear. I mean to survive, too. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, I don't... <sighs> I guess that's all. I suppose you should call Reed. Let him know all set for the meet with Hansen. Uh, should I call Reed? Reed status report. So me contacted me. Got news. Let me hear it. Well, first off, we've been greenlit. Our VIPs ready to be served. Music to my ears. What else? Songbird opened up a bit about her sitch. It's looking bad. Real bad. His texts are only shot. I hear you. I do. All the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us. Get our hands on that cure. But Reed, what Somi spilled, we really need to talk. I know, but later. Not a topic for the hollow. You need that car tracking, so get to work. We'll go from there. Once you get the encryption key from this system, let me know immediately. How do I get above? What the? Huh? Just great. Got a problem, Alex. Gonna take more than breaching one station to recreate the encryption key. Fuck. Give me a sec. Okay, got another station for you to try. Alrighty. Let's get to it. Good luck out there. And raise Reed as soon as you grab that encryption key. Uh, where's the second one?
Looking for something? Won't find you here. Nothing to find. Hey, that your mom? She doing all right? Uh-huh. She's fine. Sure about that? Dunno. Maybe you ought to tell someone. Nah, she just came down from two days of BD. She'll wake up soon, snark a scoff dog, and cry about having a headache. She always does that. Karen Exotics. I work for him. Need to fix our transceiver. Whatever. Good. Borked. It ain't working? <gasps> Jesus. You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. So, yeah, turn it off first, then turn it back on. You know, <laughs> I can tell you where to look for the on button for a thousand ads. Interested? Thanks, but no thanks. Be fine on my own. Sure, sure. Yeah, totally. What about ten? I'll help you for ten ads, too. <laughs> okay. Eddies are all yours. Nova. Done deal. So? Switch. Where is it? I don't know exactly. Around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. We'll play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it. Fuck. Ooh, ooh, chum. Like we said, ice cold. No. Warmer, getting hot. Warmer. What the fuck? My BD. No. At the best fucking bit, too. Can't <laughs> power grid. Yo, yo, yo! Don't even think about flatlining here! I can't touch a corpse! Uh, uh, this... Uh, this gotta uh, be what having a fucking stroke feels like. Perfect, Johnny. Thanks. Wasn't on purpose. Just gotta pick up the pace. Clock's ticking. I'm doing what I can. Ready? Done. Okay. So we gotta wait for it to call, huh? Okay. So in the meantime.